the signing of the college town charter with Ogden City and leading the university during the public phase of its Dream 125 comprehensive uh, fundraising campaign. Under White's guidance, the university expanded eligibility for its Dream Weber program, which provides up to eight semesters of full tuition and fees for eligible low-income students. Prior to his appointment at Weber State, White served three years as dean of the graduate school at the University of Utah, where he also served in other administrative and faculty roles since 1984. A physical chemist, he researches the chemistry of explosives and propellants. He is the co-author of more than 150 peer-reviewed publications, three patent filings, and two books. White was named an Alfred P. Sloan Research Fellow, fellow and was designated a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. He is a member of the Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society. He received the University of Utah, Utah's 1985 Outstanding Teaching Award in Chemistry from students and also received the R.W. Perry Teaching Award in Chemistry. White is married to Victoria Rasmussen and is the father of three grown daughter, daughters. In his free time, he enjoys running, backpacking, learning to play golf, and serving as a volunteer pilot for the Angel Flight West, a nonprofit charity providing free non-emergency medical transportation for patients with compelling needs. Please join me uh, with welcoming uh, President Charles A. White. Thank you, Dr. Anderson, for that generous introduction. If you didn't get anything else of that, out of that, every once in a while I get, out, get to go out and blow something up, and so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and thank you for choosing Weber State for uh, the Ogden Surgical Medical Society Conference. It's an appropriate setting because our university is no stranger to health professions. I bet that many of you attended Weber State as undergraduates uh, preparing to enter medical school. If you attended Weber State at some time in the past, would you just raise your hand for a second? Yeah, that's wonderful, thank you. <laughs> Weber State is very well known for preparing students for careers in medicine, and our students have very high acceptance rates to medical schools, vet schools, uh, professional schools of all types across the nation. Our nursing program began in 1953 when Weber State was uh, one of seven schools selected in the entire country to pilot a revolutionary associate's degree program for nursing. We are now a top producer of Utah nursing graduates. Nursing is our number one degree program with more than 3,100 students graduating in nursing from 2011 to 2015. Also among our top 10 degree programs are radiologic sciences, medical laboratory sciences, and health promotion and human performance. And we are a national leader in health professions associates degrees. For instance, of the top 100 two and four year institutions that award associates degrees in this country, Weber State ranked eighth in registered nursing, nursing administration, and clinical nursing category. In addition, this university ranked 14th in health professions and related clinical sciences. With such popularities surrounding these programs, Weber State has continued to seek ways to best prepare our students for the healthcare field. This academic year, we've added a master's degree in nursing with nurse practitioner focus and a master's degree in respiratory therapy. We will keep moving forward to ensure that our students are well prepared to join you in the field and save lives alongside you. And let's not forget that Dr. Ezekiel R. Dumke, co-founder of your organization, is also the namesake of our College of Health Professions. Weber State and the Ogden Surgical Medical Society have common ground in that we both improve lives. It is an honor to share that mission with you and to share this room for a few moments. Thank you, and I hope you have an enriched, enlivening time at Weber State this week. Thanks.
Good morning. Uh, I'm Al Hartman. I'm this year's president. Um, what did the science major say to the uh, liberal arts major? You all know this one? I'll have uh, fries with my burger. No? That's harsh? My wife's an English major, so she, uh, let's see. So uh, this institution has uh, recently demonstrated their commitment to sciences by their new building. And now we meet the man in charge of that, Dr. David Maddy. He currently serves as the Dean of the College of Science at Weber State, where he leads over 100 faculty and staff in seven academic departments in the Developmental Mathematics Program and the Center for Science and Mathematics Education. Prior to moving to Utah, Dr. Maddy spent the preceding 25 years at Central Michigan University, where he served as faculty member and chairperson of the Department of Geology. There's hope for my grandchildren. During the last two years of his association with CMU, his, Dr. Matty was on loan to the National Science Foundation, where as a program officer, he managed a $50 million portfolio of research projects funded by the Division of Undergraduate Education and was a member of the team honored by the 2011 NSF Director's Award for Collaborative Integration. A native of Pennsylvania, Dr. Matty became interested in rocks and nature at an early age. After moving to and attending high school in Detroit, he earned a BS in geology from Central Michigan University in 1977, an MS in geology from Portland State in 1980, and a PhD in geology from Rice in 1984. His research involves geochemistry to better understand the plumbing systems of ancient volcanoes, and he continues to be especially interested in investigating and developing better ways to help undergraduates learn and master concepts related to mathematics and the sciences. Dr. Matty? Yeah. Thanks, Al. Uh, love your shoes, by the way. Uh, I was one of those guys who clearly had uh, fries. I wondered when I was coming over here how many of you were going to think, oh, type 2 diabetes when you know, I walked up here. But at any rate, uh, Chuck obviously enjoys uh, making things explode. I like watching volcanoes erupt. I've been lucky enough to see that happen many times and uh, have had some uh, close shaves. So uh, at any rate, I don't want to keep you very long. I only have a few minutes. So let me uh, just start off by pointing out a few facts. Um, during the past six years here at Weber State, the percentage of our applicants, our student applicants who were accepted to medical school uh, has been uh, somewhere around 67%. That's our average acceptance rate. Nationally, the percentage of applicants accepted to medical school is about 39%. So we're about 30% higher than the national average here at Weber State. Uh, when we look specifically at female applicants, uh, our average rate here at Weber State is about 64%. Nationally, it's about 42%. So we're about 20% higher. This great acceptance rate that we have at Weber State for our students is due in large part to the great relationships we have with so many of you in the room this morning. Um, for example, many of you participate in the preceptor program by agreeing to let our, let our students shadow you for about 45 hours or more over the course of the semester. Physicians from Bingham City, or Brigham City, excuse me, all the way to Bountiful have agreed to participate for the fa past few years. And we have about 30 students and physicians during the pre-med, uh, uh, or in this program at each semester. Nationally, the average number of hours that students spend shadowing physicians during their pre-med preparation is about 30 hours. We average about 98 hours in shadowing. And that certainly has something to do with acceptance and success of our students as well. We're the only pre-med program in the state that has such a program, largely because, once again, the great support that so many of you provide in this regard. A number of you are also engaged with the Medical Explorer Post program here at Weber State. The Boy, that's a, that's a uh, collaborative effort between Weber State, the Boy Scouts of America, and the Porter Family Medical Clinic at McKay-D. It was set up two years ago. This program serves to recruit high school students into the health professions, and many of you, again, have participated in this program by offering unique, exciting, and hands-on experiences for potential future Weber State students. Many of you have 
agreed to volunteer your time this summer to partner with us to make an inaugural Weber State University Summer Medical Academy and to make that a success. This will take the form of a four day long summer camp uh, that will start in June that's similar to the Medical Explorer Post and will help Weber State and the College of Science in particular attract more high school students interested in entering the medical field. Doctors Goff, Mosinger, and McBride, in addition to many others, including physicians, resident guest speakers, spouses, and children, uh, offer their time to teach the quote-unquote life in medicine course at Weber each spring semester that explores their professional and personal lives as healthcare providers. And finally, there are many of you that help our students prepare their applications for medical schools by providing feedback on personal statements, essays, the interview process, etc. So speaking for all of us at Weber State University, thank you. I can't say that enough how grateful we are to your involvement in preparing our students for success in medical, the medical profession. So thank you really once again for your help. Our strong acceptance rates and uh, our high success rates of our students when they go on to medical school just wouldn't be possible without that. So having said all that, as you know, to help improve not only the success of our pre-med students, but all students at Weber State, and especially students majoring in STEM fields, we're winding down the construction and now putting the finishing touches on the new Tracy Hall Science Center, which many of you will tour tomorrow. Uh, following a $5 million donation from the Hall family, the state of Utah and Weber State provided additional funding to carry the $65 million construction project to completion. We now have a magnificent and a truly iconic building on our campus that will raise interest in STEM fields among our students and we hope will attract even more students to Weber State to study math and sciences as well as to prepare students, future students for medical school. We all know that medicine and healthcare advances come about as new technologies are developed and integrated into uh, the workplace, as new techniques are invented, and as new medicines are discovered or synthesized. Many of these advances would not be possible without well-trained physical and life scientists, as well as mathematicians and statisticians. So to train the next generation of physicists, chemists, statistical modelers, microbiologists, geneticists, and others, we still need help so that we can provide the state-of-the-art technologies and instrumentation necessary for that task. So as you have opportunities in the next few days, please take advantage of your close proximity to the Tracy Hall Science Center and take a look at it. Step through the newly complete facility and think of how your children and their children, as well as future generations of pre-med students, might benefit from the support of members of the Ogden Surgical Medical Society. If you haven't yet signed up for tours, please do so. We'd love to show you around the new building and the new gem of Weber State's Ogden campus. So thank you for being here with us at Weber State University this morning, and best wishes for a great conference. Thank you. Thanks again, Dean, for this, the way you've treated us and brought us into your facility. Uh, it's a beautiful place to hold a meeting. Seems right to have our meeting in an educational place. Um, the shoes, these are the shoes I've worn to play tennis in for many years. Then they changed this model for the uh, 2000, uh, the Olympics in uh, London. And, uh, so then when I had my trouble with the DEA, it felt for a while like I was fighting for my rights, and so the, the shoes sort of meant something to me. And when, uh, so when they told me to go get booked, my attorney said, don't wear your shoes. Uh, so I didn't. And uh, so, do we, uh, we're a quick booking story. Do you want a booking story? So, uh, you go to the you get to you go to get booked. You have I took me three times to find the right place, and uh, you go through these three locked doors, concrete facility. They put you in a cell, and uh, sit you down, and the officer uh, talks to you and starts writing down why you're there, and then he and then he says to me, so uh, uh, empty the contents of your wallet, and he's going through my wallet and he starts taking the cash out, and I said, so uh, what's going on? And he says, don't worry, it'll be in your inmate account. And um, I said, well, I think I'm a book and release. 
And he said, no, no, it says book and hold right here. So now I think it's book and release. So he takes and puts me in another cell. This, he locks me up in a cell. And then he checks with somebody. About 20 minutes later, they come and get me. They bring me to, into this big room where there are a bunch of people around. And there's this uh, lady mounted on a desk about here. And she said, so you're here for prescription fraud? And I said, I don't think so. And she said, no, it says right here. Do you want to you debate this for a while? I said, no, no, just go ahead. So they, um, they photographed me. No, no, first they printed me. And when they print you now, it's really, they print you on all surfaces of your fingers. Then, they, then they, as they photographed me, the young lady who photographed me says, will you tell your, sister, your uh, daughter Amanda that Lindsay says hi? <laughs> and then they walked me out. All right, then the shoes. This is the end of the shoes. Um, I decided after that, it felt so wrong not to wear the shoes there, that my attorney said, don't wear the shoes to the court date. And he didn't want, he wanted the, he was afraid the judge would think I was grandstanding. And that's not how I felt about it. But anyway, he, I wore them and he was so angry when he got off the elevator and saw me in my shoes. I mean, he was worried it wasn't, that it was gonna go wrong for me to be dressed like that. Anyway, that's the shoe story. Um, as president of the 71st Annual Ogden Surgical Medical Conference, Pitfalls in Medical Practice, uh, I welcome you here. Um, I wanted to say to all who come to this happy place, welcome, just because I like that. Um, so these are a few housekeeping things. David Epstein will have a book signing for his book, The Sports Gene, Inside the Science of Extraordinary Athletic Performance at 1.30 at the University Health Sciences Bookstore outside Ballroom A. He will be speaking at 12 o'clock today in this ballroom. Following his book signing from 1.30 to 2, there will be an extra Q&A session with Epstein in room 301 until 2.30. Tonight at 6 is the McKay D. Physician Family Night Buffet at George S. Eccles Dinosaur Park. If you haven't been there, that's really a great place. Dinosaur Park is wonderful. It's a wonderful event. Thursday night, uh, here is Weber State University College of Science reception and dinner starting at 6.30. That's tomorrow night here with snippets of Shakespeare entertainment with our artistic directors, Jane Hartman, my wife, and Holly Pavanka, my daughter. Uh, p please pick up your dinner tickets at the registration table. And then, Friday night, sponsored by Ogden Regional, uh, we're having Hogwarts at my house, and this is at 6101 Spring Canyon Road. And I'll just say, if you go to Wendy's in South Ogden and you head east, and every time you have a choice, you go higher, you'll find it. It's seven o'clock Friday night. You, if you wonder what Hogwarts is, you can look on, you can Google uh, Hartman Hogwarts. We'll have, we have, we've been doing this 15 years. There'll be 65 actors who are used to doing this. There are people that come from out of state. They're good at this. We're funny. It's entertaining. If your children find out that you had the chance to take them to this and you don't take them, you'll be in trouble. So that's Friday night, seven, my house, South Ogden. And as you go through your days, when you run into employees of the hospitals, local hospitals, remind them they're invited to this. this is, the society and Ogden Regional has decided to sponsor this for local hospital employees and active military. Because part of the fun of that night is the crowd. And you guys won't be enough fun. It's just we have to bring in a little more fun. Um, so please mute or, or vibrate your cell phones. And now, is it the sponsors? Now I introduce the sponsors. Thank you to our generous partners, the Ogden Clinic, Weber State University, the National Kidney Foundation, UMA, UMA Financial Services, Allen and Jean Hall Foundation, and I'm sorry for names I get wrong, Elida and Thomas L. Hannum, MD, Chad Gonzalez, MD, Circle of Life Women's Center, Country Hills Eye Center, Davis Hospital and Medical Center, 
Douglas and Shelley Felt Fam Family Foundation, Edith D. Green Foundation, EPIC Emergency Physicians Integrated Care at Ogden Regional Medical Center, Fresenius, how do we say it? Fresen Fresenius, okay. Gilbert E. Calouette, MD, Harlow B. Rigby Charitable Trust, Intermountain Medical Group, Weber North Davis, Lawrence T. and Janet T. D. Foundation, in memory of William Riley Brown, MD, McKay Hospital, McKay Surgical Center, McKay ENT, Michael Schuler, MD, Mountain Medical, National Kidney Foundation of Utah and Idaho, Nebaker Family Foundation, Northern Utah Surgeons, Steve Carabine, MD, Robert Morse, Mosinger, MD, Joe Hansler, MD, and Victor Varela, MD. The Ogden Clinic, Ogden Regional Medical Center, Ralph E. Frizz, MD, Spencer S. and Hope Fox Eccles Family, Stephen G. and Susan E. Denkers Family Foundation, Steve S. Johnson, MD, Joyce Johnson Stillwell, and Val B. Johnson, MD, in memory of Vernal H. Johnson, MD, Stewart Education Foundation, Tanner Clinic, UMA, UMA Financial Services, UMIA, Utah Emergency Physicians, and McKady Emergency Physicians, Utah Hematology Oncology PC, Utah Imaging, Utah Medical Associ Association Foundation, Val A. Browning Foundation, Virgil J. Parker, MD, Weber County ENT Physicians, Alexander Ramirez, MD, Douglas K. Anderson, MD, Nadem B. Bikazi, MD, and Stuart Barlow, MD. Weber State University, College of Science, Woods Richards and Associates, PC, Certified Public Accountants. And now, Douglas Anders Anderson, our board member, will moderate the rest of the morning.